Welcome back to another episode of Melissa Building Stuff for a Toy Shop That I Can't Build. If you're just tuning in, hi, my name is Mel and I'm basically crap at DIY. But my job has me making stands to display toys all the time. Anyway, we are about to stock the new brand Palm Pals. These have been available to buy from our walk-in shop for a couple of weeks now, but I've never actually put them on our Spiders Web or TikTok shop. So it's time to build a display stand for the website and then we can launch them for sale online on Tuesday. Now, you may have watched last week where I tried to build the Nido stand. I did it in the end. This one already looks more complex because there's loads more pieces. Why there is more pieces, I'll never know. I mean, look at them instructions. It is scaring me, but we can do it, can't we? You, if we can't, you're just gonna laugh at me do it. So let's go. How nice is this stand though? Look at that. The range of Palm Pals is huge. There is loads to collect. They have a little weighted beanie bum as well. I don't know if you've ever felt them before and they're super soft. So I'm gonna constantly update the collection for you. We've got the Axolotl one in the walk-in shop. We have that shark in the walk-in shop too. That penguin is so cute though, look at its little belly. My little boy is gonna love these. He loves soft toys. In fact, there's no room on his bed for any more, but I'm sure he'll find space, trust me. Right then, let's try and build this thing. So step one in my brain was just opening it up. It lo already looks smaller than the Nido one that I built. It looks shorter. I don't know if that's just my angle or what. 17 steps in the instructions. I don't even know what it means. So these look like the lettered B1 to 4. But which ones are they? Because I can't see any lettering on them. Is it because I've just literally pulled it all out of the box with the in a certain way? Can't see those letters anywhere on them. Is it these? Because there's no B on there, look. It's like hide and seek for the letter. I think the first step for me to do is spread all the parts about to see what I'm actually playing with here. Have faith in me, guys. I can do this. I know I can. Again, no lettering on here, though, but this does look a similar shape to the photograph. Hmm. I don't understand. It's all this bending stuff again, but which way does it bend? That way? That way? Like, I don't understand. Why have I done this to myself? I know I struggled with a needle one. Right, so that has got to be that. That is that shape, isn't it? Is it? It's just making a tray, isn't it? It's just showing me a really difficult way to make a tray. Right, come on, Melissa. You bend boxes for a living, Melissa. You make up postal boxes. Have faith in yourself. I thought you might want to laugh at me, so I'll flip my camera around. So I think... If I break it, I break it. I've got loads of shelves, haven't I? I've got loads of shelves. I don't need a posh stand. Oh, look, look, look. It's starting to short, like, make shape there. Look, that's kind of like the tray. And then I think I'm going to have to fold these down. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. I don't know what they're down there for, them little lips. But I'm going to say that's one shelf there. It's not the sturdiest, but... Let's face it, it doesn't have to put nice cubes on this one. It's just for soft toys. Join the party. Yay, we're having a party. Right, I'm going to speed you up and we're going to do the other three. So going to make Right, we've got shelves. What's annoying is this shelf here with that on, I'm going to have to put a sticker on because TikTok is going to constantly flag that up on my lives. Right then, what is step two? Insert shelves. Step three? No idea. What is step two then? That is not insert shelves, is it? Because the shelves aren't there on step three. Is it... What does that even mean? It point an arrow to an A? Where's the A? Okay, so the A's that, right? The A's that, get that. Okay, we understand that is A, obvious. That was obvious. Is that one of my shelves? Is it just saying put one shelf in and then what is number three though? What does number three mean? Number four looks identical to number three. Number five, okay. Number five, we're putting shelves in. Should we just skip to number five? I just place my hand there for obvious reasons. Does it matter which shelf goes at the top? Shall I put join the party at the top? Yeah, we'll put join the party at the top. 
Okay, so it does have little wings and I'm going to assume they slide into there on each side. And I already know what this is. Look, we've got another one of them. Oh, look, it's like I'm a pro now. Look, I even know what these little didgery dodgeries are. Right, so I'm sliding those in there and that pulls out. Oh, I've got one hand. How is this going to work? Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to put you down. And then we're pushing it down. Is it in the other side? There's my first shelf. That is my first shelf. And now I understand what these are. I don't even need the instructions because that is obviously to make it look a bit more pretty. Get in there, you. Does look a bit wonky, but we'll sort that out. Let's move on to shelf number two. We've gone for a collect them all shelf and I'm going to leave the naughty shelf at the bottom. I'm loving it. Right, I've had an idea for the naughty shelf. I'm going to use one of our stickers. Come on, Melissa, don't let this be the hardest bit. On you go. On you go. Okay, this is how we're looking. The fact that I've stuck that sticker on Wonky is going to drive me mad. I'm going to have to sort that out. But anyway, I'm left with two pieces. This one and that one. That's obviously for the top. What is going on here? It doesn't even stand up. So this must be some sort of base. Where are my instructions that I didn't even use? Um, can anybody see anything about a base on there? Must be towards the end. No, it's the top. Um, hmm. Is that the base? Is that supposed to be the base? D? Could be D, couldn't it? I think it is D. So what is it telling me to do? Fold it out. Look, make it look like a seat. Right. Let's go. Right, I've made it into that shape, which is obviously must go on there somewhere, mustn't it? Like, this is the bottom and it must create another little shelf. We've got these little dodgy things. I'm sorry, but the needle stand have none of this. What is this on the bottom? It's like a lip. Do I, do I bend this? Am I bending it? Oh, I am now. We've got one of them, which is fine. I know what I'm doing with that, but there's no back on this thing, so there's nothing to actually hook it to. Hmm. Hmm. So if I folded it, and then it's just on the stand like magic. What's going on here? I'm sorry, but I do not understand this. I'm just going to have to make it up. Right, my first step was knocking it down. Because then I see these little jigsaw pieces. They're going to slide in there. The must. Like so. Is this a good time to tell you one of my staff members, Sam, admitted to me that she loves DIY? And here I am. When everyone else is at home. I could have done this with Sam, couldn't I? No. You can do it, Melissa, you can. Right, so, if I just imagine to lift that up somehow, it must kind of like slot in place if I bend everything down. <laughs> I say if I bend everything down, is, any, is anything going to bend? Ah! Okay, it wasn't bending in because I think these have got to bend in there. I don't even know if this is the right way. I'm literally just winging it, guys, but that's a story of my life. Right, then let's take that out. Fold this one. Oh, yes, now we're getting somewhere, I think. I don't know what to do with this little bit here. Don't know. We'll deal with that when we need to. Let's slot that one in there. It's a lot more complex, I'm going to say. Give me a needle stand any day. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I've got a slanty shelf and there is no slanty shelf. A little bit of force fixed it. And then we need that in there. We've only gone and done it. And the only problem I have now is it's too small for all the plushies that I've ordered. But doesn't it look good?